Hello, my name is Kenneth. I'm going to show you how to create a lesson in Moodle. I'm turned uh, to a course page. I'm still developing this course and I'm going to go here on the right and click turn editing on. That's the first thing you do after you go to the a course page. Uh, my computer is a little slow. Good. Now I have editing turned on. Say I want to do a lesson for the first week. Okay going to come here. The lesson is an activity. I have set it up in a way that my activities and resources are shown for each week. So I have it set up as a drop down here. Depending on how your administrator has set up your Moodle, it may be uh, that you have to click to go and select all of them. So you're going to come here um, on the add an activity and you would select lesson and it'll open up and we will follow so we're going to give our lesson a name lesson say I'm gonna be teaching on photosynthesis or something like that photosynthesis or more likely this is a leadership course say we're gonna study the importance of character importance of character because it's a leadership course um, you put a title whatever the title is that you think would suit your needs you give it then you go to the appearance uh, progress bar you probably don't want progress bar. progress bar is the kind of thing that you would see if you were taking a survey online that says oh you have 10% or 20% done and you only have this much percent I don't think you need it for a course that you're giving online. The purpose of it in service is that they want you to see, oh, you've already done 60%. You might as well just do the last 40%. And so it, it helps people do their surveys. You could use it. If you want it, you turn yes. Display ongoing score means that the people will see their scores if you give quizzes. Because the beauty of using a lesson is that you could put quizzes in between each lesson. I don't do that, but you could. Just go through, you could leave this as it is, display to the left. I would say yes, actually. Display menu to the left is gonna give us a menu right here on the left-hand side um, of your screen. It's gonna give you a menu right there. I want it, so I'm gonna say yes. Display score, I don't want it because I'm not even gonna ask questions. But if you are going to separate your lessons with questions, you should decide to see if you want the student to see that minimum grade to display i don't i don't want to show that change that slideshow um i'm gonna say no and if you don't know what something is saying you just click here and say and read if enabled the lesson is displayed as a slideshow with a fixed width and height actually i'm gonna say yes on this one uh, maximum number of answers i'm gonna leave four uh, use Feedback, I'm going to say no, then link to to next activity, um, I'm going to say it says none. Link to next activity, you only have none. So availability here, if you wanted your lesson to be available only for a short period of time, you could, ch you could check here and select the date that it's available from and then check the select the date that you basically go here, say tw um, 28th and you could change, okay, click here and you'll be able to select a date from here but I don't want that I want my lessons to be available whenever I go toggle and have students be able to see them so I don't want to go changing dates if I do move my lessons back and forth so I leave this as is limited time I don't put a time on my lessons but if you want to to do that on yours you you could come here and set it prerequisite lesson there's none there's no pre flow Allow student to review. Uh, no, um, uh, I'm going to leave this as is. Um, provide an option to try to answer again. That This is if you time it and, this, and basically make it almost like a quiz. Grade. I'm going to say, um, I'm going to leave this as is. Why? Because you only do this if you're going to add a quiz to it. You only need that. And show is important. You have to have show. Okay, I click. I'm going to click save and return. Now I have a lesson here. You'll notice it by this 
three uh, three 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 um, uh, shapes right here. I'm gonna click on it now, and you see that you have um, this is how how it looks. I'm gonna click it here. Let's see. If you wanted to, to preview it, it would show nothing because nothing has been done to it. So um, let's see, my computer is thinking, okay, no. So the next thing you do is, if you want to use questions, you're gonna import questions. I don't use it for questions, so um, I'm gonna do add a content page. Okay, so um, my first, lesson on that the importance of character is uh, I write my title character is good I'm just this is not gonna be anything real character is good I'm gonna come in here I could put content such as I could embed a YouTube video even I'm gonna do that just so because we teach with with videos so I'm gonna embed a YouTube video real quickly in there for my content um, um, let's see show more share okay embed and then I'm gonna copy and paste real quickly where where are we again I have too many windows open so I get tripped I'm gonna go here actually I usually like to add some paragraphs before I do it. Then I come in here and click and paste. Then I'll come in here. This is a key, you have to put a navigation. So this is a key portion. So you could put text in here. Sometimes I put text. So you, if you want to, to be put text in there instead of video, you'll just copy the text and paste it in there somewhere. Like if this is a text I wanted to put, I'll copy it and paste. I'll copy it or bring it from wherever I've typed it and just paste it in there. And I could put a video on there. Sometimes I do that. Then I'll come in here. You, If this is the first video that you have, then you really don't have a previous. You just have people start on it and watch it and they can go next. They can go previous. So you're going to say next lesson and that'll be the only button you put. You change this here and put next page. You put next lesson here, next page. Leave this one always like that, Moodle auto format. And then because you're on your first video, your navigation could only go forward. There's no previous. So you do only one. Um, we, you don't do, you don't touch this number two, this content two here, and then you go. This content area, I don't like the way the, the name, the Moodle names the content. I'm gonna create another content page, um, give another title uh character two or something like that and then i'm going to, going to post that text in here now i already have a first video and i'm going to say previous lesson so students could go back to it if they wanted previous lesson so i'll select previous in here previous then now i need to do next lesson you realize that i'm i'm doing next lesson only on the second video and forward and then next is selected here, then I'll click um, save page here. I was saying that this content one, content two, content three, and content four, I don't like the way Moodle calls it content one because it's, it is for the navigation. It is the next button that you're gonna click on the read. So the idea that they call it content is a little misleading to me, but that's what it is. Uh, you use it that way. So you click that to save it. Now I have two. Um, you could keep adding another content page and then I'm going to do the last one now. But you could re repeat the second content page, just that sa those same steps and that, that will be how you created character. Three is my title here and uh, in, you could embed a video but I'm going to just paste text so we could, we could go. Then now I'm going to allow people to go previous because they could go back to the second video, previous lesson and I select that and they could end the lesson. So end lesson because they can't go further. 
So I'll select end lesson here. Realize that I've kept Moodle auto format uh, the same. So I click that and I would have created three lessons. I can preview them here. Realize that I had selected that it should show on the left side of the menu of the screen right here. It is showing the menu here, left side lesson menu. So it automatically opens a the first lesson and it's open. Students can click next down here like we, we selected. And you see that because, let's go back to previous. You see that because it's the first, there was no previous because there's no previous to go to and we discussed doing that. So here, because it's the second, you could go previous, or you could go next and students would either watch a video if that's what you put here or read the text and then click next. And it will take them to the next lesson, which is le lesson three here. And they'll be able to do that. And then you see they could go previous or they could end the lesson. Realize again that you could pu have put quizzes in between them and they would have you just link them the same way they would go from a video or a lesson to a quiz and um, that's pretty much it I'm gonna click end lesson here and that's it it says congratulations this is the end of the lesson and I'm going back in here it shows up right here um, if you want it to appear in the, in any week, you do the same thing and select a lesson and you follow. It's the same exact thing. It's very simple when you've done it the first time. Thank you very much for watching this video.